Many fear the uncontrollable nature of wildlife diseases and their impact on humans, livestock, and domestic animals. But what about the reverse? In the 1950s, bovine tuberculosis spread to the wild buffaloes within the Kruger National Park in South Africa. The disease is suspected to have come from infected cattle sharing the same grazing lands in the park. The disease was officially detected in buffaloes in the early 90s, raising concerns that it had spread to other wildlife and livestock, which it did. Over the decades, tuberculosis spread to many wild species across the park and into neighboring countries. With so many buffaloes infected with the disease, it moved up the food chain from other grazing animals to predators and scavengers who had eaten infected prey. Tuberculosis has not significantly impacted the population levels of these species, though it has caused suffering and death among individual animals, as well as local extinctions of smaller groups, such as banded mongooses. Additionally, any diseases can heighten the vulnerability of wildlife, particularly endangered species. It can impact their conservation status, create local extinctions, and have immeasurable consequences on the balance of the ecosystem. The effects were also far-reaching. Controlling and monitoring diseases in wildlife when animals roam freely is complex by nature. Kruger Park has been designated as a TB quarantine zone, but is not a risk for tourists visiting the park as there is no direct contact with wildlife. However, a quarantine zone complicates the free movement of wildlife, even for resistant species such as wild dogs and rhinos. Such measures have significantly increased the cost of wildlife relocation programs due to the need for extensive testing and have deteriorated the welfare of some animals. And because livestock disease control measures can have impact on wildlife, it is important that veterinary services, wildlife authorities and surrounding communities develop partnerships to face disease threats together. At WOA, we are helping countries to increase this cooperation and better understand disease risks at the human-animal ecosystems interface. However, everyone has a role in preventing diseases from spreading from domestic to wild animals in the future. Animal owners, for example, can help prevent serious disease outbreaks by vaccinating their animals when vaccines are available. By working with vets and veterinary authorities, they can help control diseases in domestic animals before they reach wildlife. Safeguarding animal health is crucial for the Earth's biodiversity, preserving a sustainable future for us all. Because animal health is our health. It's everyone's health. Learn more at www.woa.org.